All right, we made it down to the canyon. It was totally worth the horrible night's rest we got in the tent to be here. But uh, it is really cool down here. And the temperature is so much better than it is at the top of the canyon. It's so cool and nice. It's, it's it's just, you just have to pick your uh, composition. There's so many, they're everywhere. And uh, I found one that I think I'm gonna try to get. So, take a look at what I'm looking at. All right, so I have this shot behind me. Um, this little tree has landed on a rock, and the other rock over here, right there, is kind of pointing towards that way. So it all kind of draws your eye over there, which, I think it's cool. I'm using a polarizer uh, to get the glare out of the water. It is taking some of the reflection of that tree out. See, there's the reflection, turning the polarizer. It kind of goes away, but it cuts into the rock, and really that's more of what I wanted is to be able to see the rocks. So in, in order to not have to get out all my uh, filters and 10 stops and three stops and all that, um, I'm just doing F16, which in this dark canyon is getting me to six seconds. So F16, six seconds, polarizer, two second timer. Let's do it. Boop, 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 boop. Right? Five, six, there it is. And I love it. It's so cool here. And now all the leaves are falling. Do you see the leaves falling? Magical. This is where all the fairies live in northern Alabama, in case you're wondering. And the gnomes. You gotta watch out for the gnomes though. They tend to have bad attitudes. Alright, take a look at this picture. I'm gonna pack up. Keep heading down the canyon. After some fun playtime in the little stream, I kicked everybody out so I could take a picture. Going into the scene, you know? It's what the image makes you feel like you're doing. Let's take a look. It's amazing. It's so cool. Um, this one is once again another S-curve, but it has some more depth and dimension at the end of the stream. So, I'm just gonna take another shot. I have to. All right, so I have my polarizer on. I'm at 1.6 second exposure, F11, ISO 100 and I have focused to a third of the way through the image. So, boop, this rock right here is where my focus is, and that will allow everything else to be pretty much well in focus. Uh, but the closer you get, the more you need to make sure it's sharp, because in an image, that's kind of the first place the eye goes, and if it's all fuzzy, then people just go on to the next image. They don't hate you, but they don't like you in your images. If I had a really small aperture number, which makes it as big as it can be. Light gets in fast, it freezes the frame. So that's why I'm doing F18 ISO 100. That's just gonna get us a little bit more movement in the water. Done much better, much better. I like it.
as my family continues on down the path, look what I found. Can you see it? Is that not cool? Uh, anyway, I'm going to go back down this way just a little bit uh, to make sure I can still get the bottom of the roots of the tree, but with all this moss on the side and then this tree growing through the rocks with the roots, it's going to be really cool. It may end up being a black and white, which is a real shame because the the walls are so cool and green and mossy, but the contrast of that tree is really going to be cool. And I might want just the stark contrast of a black and white. We'll see. Which one do you like? The first one or the second one? Comment below. Whichever one wins, I'm going to print it and I'm going to give it away in the next video. Can you believe it? It's a giveaway. It's my first giveaway. I'm so excited. I'm about a 15th of a second ISO 100 and I'm at uh, F5.6 because I want to really slim the focus on this tree so the background won't be as sharp as it would if I had a smaller aperture. Polarizer on to kind of darken the rocks a little bit. They have a little bit of a glare from the sun which is way up there. So two second timer. Beautiful. All right, let me know. Don't leave me hanging. Comment below, color or black and white, and you may be a winner. It sounds real infomercial-ish, but I just thought it'd be fun. So I'm gonna go catch up with my family and then go have lunch because I'm getting a little hungry. That was amazing. Come to Dismal's Canyon. It's worth the drive and worth the money to get in. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our journey through the canyon as much as I enjoyed going on it. Um, even if you're not taking pictures, you should come. It's, it's, it's really cool to be here. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to comment down below. If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel so you follow everything that we're doing. And we'll see you next time.